good morning, Lionhearts. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you all doing today? I hope you said well. If you watched my last vlog, we went out to the former Paradise Castle of Lonnie Hammergren. You know that I was asking about some dinosaur bones. He had some collectible dinosaur bones from a famous movie starring Cary Grant and Katherine Hepburn, and I had asked where they were, and today I wanna go, I wanna go see them, they're on display. And um, across, she actually, Amber, the woman who now lives and owns the house said, oh, if you go right across the street, there's a really great store that we got a lot of our chandeliers and things for our house at called Restore. So I'd like to go check out both of those places today. But I wanna show you something. Since I'm in Vegas, my friend Corey, who I actually met through my friend Eric Singer, she makes some uh, bracelets and jewelry for Eric and when he's in, playing in Kiss on stage and when he's just you know roaming around as a normal citizen. Um, and she, kindly made something for me and then made something for my girlfriend and I just love what she's doing so I wanted to show you what she made me and tell you about it. So you know that I love bracelets. I love these beaded bracelets. I wear them all the time and she made this beautiful blue one with those are lion heads going all the way around. And what's cool about Corey's bracelets, you can get them on Etsy. She has a shop called Bliss by Corey, C-O-R-I. And I'll put the link in here. She offers a lifetime guarantee. I can't tell you honestly how many bracelets I have bought traveling all over the place, all over the world. Brought them back and been wearing them and got them snagged on a door uh, or woke up in the middle of the night and the bracelet had worn out and broke and had beads all over my bed. She actually offers a lifetime warranty so you can just mail it back, the beads and everything, and she'll repair it for you forever. Now, what also is cool about it is she gives you a couple of description sheets. These are very interesting because she tells you what the meaning and what the what the symbolism is of wearing um, the bracelet on either your left or right hand. But she also describes whatever she makes it out of, what the healing properties are, and what you can expect, what the jewel, like you know, everything, the whole description of everything about it. Check this out. So she gives you this description sheet right here that tells you, you know, if you wear it on the left side or you wear it on the right side, which you can expect. But then this is also what I was telling you about. If you notice here, she tells you exactly everything about it, the uses, the purposes, what you can hope to expect out of here. I just thought this was so cool and they're really high quality. I mean, the, the beads are heavy. They feel really nice. So. I just thought that was cool and I wanted to share it with you. I know a lot of times when I wear things, sunglasses, watches, bracelets, people go, where'd you get that? How can I get one? Here's how. So not only does she make beautiful bracelets, but every one of them comes in an amazing, beautiful bag like this. Let me show you what she made for my girlfriend. This is great. My girlfriend loves butterflies. She just loves butterflies. And look at this beautiful blue bracelet that Corey made for her. I love it. Every three, she does three beads and then a butterfly. I loved it. Did the same thing with my lion bracelet. So if you want one of these bracelets, this is how you can get it. Contact Corey, tell her you saw my channel and uh, she'll hook you up. So I will be wearing this every day and if you notice I also have a green one. That is an extra cat one that she made for my pal Eric Singer and I got it. He gave it to me, so. I'm wearing it, kind of cool. And today's special Patreon sunglasses are for Linda. Linda, I hope you enjoy this vlog today. I get the feeling this is the place. I wonder what the story is with this thing. Yes, I definitely get the idea that this is the place we're looking for. That looks like that probably came out of the Luxor. Let's go see what he's got. Wow, there is tons of stuff in here. Let's see what we can find. Look up, there they are. Okay, if you remember bringing up Baby, this is in the movie. Cary Grant is a scientist and he's on, on a scaffolding up on this side and Katherine Hepburn's down here talking to him and he's telling her to leave because she's already done enough damage and he doesn't want her to do any more here and she climbs up that ladder and is talking to him from this side. So they're having a conversation back and forth over those bones. How cool. Well, let's go over here where we can see a better angle. There, take a look at that. That is so cool. So freaking cool. 
you know for as much as we learned about Lonnie you do have to bless the guy for saving things like this that is so neat to see an old prop like this that's a great movie too bringing up baby Wow pretty freaking cool I thought this might be a good one to do a patreon sunglass vlog if you like classic movies this is a great classic movie look at that man that thing's huge there's a price tag on it she said Wow take a look at that what is that that is interesting it's a pearl drum set Freddy Krueger coming out of that thing look at that that's almost like the kiss elder door <laughs> kind of what it reminds me of look at that an Oscar anybody need an Oscar for their house some great statues David take a look at this I love those chairs I'm gonna get something like that for my music room take a look at all this stuff they have a giant painting of Mike Tyson and his this guy's style reminds me of Denny Dent if any of you remember Denny Dent when I was a kid he was on a local WTV radio station TV commercial and he would paint like Hendrix in this style for the commercial Caesar some sort of Dixie sign oh look at that Williams costume sign and that's a an old Navy flag a battle flag you can even buy a Build-A-Bear machine here Wow <laughs> I mean I think that's what that is right I've never done it, but it looks like. Look at that furniture. And the cow. Look at all the fossils in there. That's, wow. That is a lot of fossils. A lot of shells and stuff. Operation North Pole. That's interesting. It's Rodan, and it's signed by someone to someone, from someone, and up here, it's like a faint signature and message up there, very interesting, and this is the same statue that we saw in the fountain over at Caesar's Palace, that headless ring statue, all kinds of weird stuff here. This place is great. This is a cookie jar. That loose. Wow, take a look at that. And take a look at what's up here. You've got Dean, Sammy, and Frank. Betty Boop, James Dean, Elvis, Marilyn, got them all. Even a letter box for Santa. I guess this is just a drop location. That's what I'm guessing, right? Venus de Milo. A random shark hanging from the ceiling. Take a look, there's another one of those paintings and it's Frank. It's pretty cool. Now we're directly underneath those famous bones. I love it. You, oh, you can definitely tell that they're just made out of wood, if you were wondering. I'll take a look at that. They've even got a John Lennon one. That is great. Done in different panels. That is great. There's an Optimus Prime mask. I'm not really sure what that is. I'm like, you got the Blues Brothers up here. And another Betty Boop. What is it? <laughs> Defending the store, I guess. Okay, Take a look so at is that. That thing is great. Mm -hmm. Breck would love that. Prices, but I can definitely... They even have like a machine that you uh, you can make like North Pole powdered 
desserts with. Oh, take a look at that. In case you need one for your home. That is pretty cool. <laughs> I love the Egyptian sarcophagus and sphinx. I like all that stuff. Some random skull decorations for your house. That's pretty cool. Those two hands. Like a little bird bath type thing. Candy dish. Something like that. Peter Piper <laughs> lamp covers. And all kinds of Betty Page pictures and paintings of various things. And don't worry, if you didn't want to buy the chips and sarcophagus because there was only one, now you can get three. I really like that one in the center. It's great. I'd love to know whose face or what this is back here. This big thing that's like kind of hidden back here. Pretty interesting sectional. Oh, now we know this comes from the star mill. This is definitely one of my new favorite places in Vegas to shop. That chair is interesting because it looks like a chair, probably functions like a chair, but then it's got hooks all over that you could hang your coats. Oh look, there's a Dean. That's, that reminds me of what Dimebag Daryl used to play, that style. This would actually be pretty cool if you repainted the white a little bit better. I like that white and purple. What the heck is this, a shield? Wow. A couple more, these like metal helmets, masks. Another Betty Boop, like a cheerleader Betty Boop. What's that? All those faces. Pretty cool. And then we've got a Statue of Liberty even up here. Need a captain's wheel? I like those, those are kind of cool. I don't know why they have a shark head on this bed, but they do. Maybe it comes with a bed, right? I do like that sofa though, that's nice. I'm guessing you come with this bed, right? Only makes sense. Oh wow, there's even a John Wayne. Look at all that up there. All right, this was a great stop. I'm so glad that we got to see this. I'm so glad I asked about it yesterday. Classic movie prop, just absolutely classic. So cool, so, so cool. And right up here off the hand, you can see that it is for sale. On display, but on, on sale also. It says movie prop 1939. $15,000. Bringing up baby. Sometimes you just never know what you'll find in these kind of places. So I love Cuban food. I was just driving by this place, Havana Express Cuban Kitchen, so I'm gonna try it out. I like the front entryway, I like those big gates. Somebody saw me walking in who's Cuban. She said, this place is the best, so awesome. I like the hubcaps on the ceiling. It's a nice touch. They have all of this, but I think I just want a Cuban sandwich. Oh, baby, look at that. There's my Cuban sandwich. I can't wait to dig in. Dig it, I really like this. I've had better, but it's really good. I think we'll save the desserts for another time, but the sandwich was pretty good. I like it. All right, well. We thought ReStore was closer to over here, but it turned out not to be. It's across town, so we're gonna go to Lynn's Consignment instead and check out what they have today. Just out of curiosity, when we were in there looking at those dinosaur bones from the movie, how many of you were asking yourself, where in the heck did Lonnie keep those on his property? Those were apparently inside the freaking house. One of the houses, so I can only imagine. I wish I could have gotten to see it when he had it totally loaded up, but yeah, it was really cool to see those today. All 
right, Lynn's World Consignments. They always have some pretty cool stuff here. Look at all that. Isn't that great, that car? It's like a carousel horse. Oh, that is cool. Oh, take a look at that. That's great. I kind of like that. The footstool and ottoman in the table. Pretty cool. It's all ceramic. Check out those chairs. The chairs definitely go with the butterfly. That's all wood. That's a wood painting. See why we come to places like this? All kinds of different ideas. Like that is the kind of big family dining room table I'd love to have for like a, a holiday, like a Christmas dinner in my house. This reminds me, I wanna get something for my house that's Murano glass since I went to Murano in Italy. Now one, one of the things I kind of like here is, uh, look at this cabinet back here, and I'm kind of shocked. That's Nicole Kidman, that's a painting of Nicole Kidman. That's just not one that you, normally it's like kind of more classic actresses, but it's a pretty good painting of her, to be honest. <laughs> Actually a really good painting of her. Kind of like that too. Check those out. Those actually hang from the ceiling. So if you have a big, tall <laughs> ceiling, you could hang those kind of things. Now that's interesting. Take a look at that. Lots and lots of furniture here. Lots and lots and lots of furniture here. Oh, let's check that out. That is interesting. Look, look at the lion. Oh, I'll take a look at that. That wooden horse, that's kind of cool. Those are actually pretty cool. Those are lavender. They look great in person. They're kind of, on video, they look a little bit brighter than they are, but I kind of dig those. I like that. That's pretty cool too. Oh wow, take a look at those. Those are interesting. I've never seen anything quite like that. Oh wow, I really like that lamp. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff. This is such great. Options. It's kind of cool. You just never know what you're looking for until you find it sometimes. I wanted to try out this chair because I'm looking at a, a white one just like it for my house. And it's very comfortable. I like it. And you almost need to buy this cabinet to go with it. That is great. It looks good. That style, I'll go with that style. Yeah. That's close. I actually really like this. I don't know why. I really like it a lot. Some cool art over there. I'm gonna go there and take yeah, a look exactly. at some That's of it. I I like that. I really like that. And that's kind of nice too. It's got some nice color. Now that's interesting. Look at the yellow. Look at this. This is great. That is that is a painting of Garbo, Greta Garbo. I've really never run into anything like that. Did a great job too. Take a look at this butterfly. It's all made of mosaic, broken glass pieces. God, I love that style. Look at that. Look how intricate that is. Very interesting array of chairs. More Garbo. Interesting. I wonder. I wonder what the story is. Who painted them? Or I mean, what's the deal? At first, I'm looking at this and I'm going, "What's going on here? Is that lady spanking the other lady?" And then I realized this lady's breastfeeding. I was like, "I don't know what all's going on here." Oh, cool headboards. That's kind of my style. 
There's a purple one, a blue one. Those are great. That's a great painting. Actually, so is this one. Oh, wow. At first, I thought that was the headboard. That is amazing. That's actually a piece of art that you would hang. You can see they're hanging it from a chain here. Let's take that in for a second. That's 3D. Take a look. Isn't that cool? Wow. So well done. Yeah, it's all 3D. Look at the woman over here. The hand in the sun. I love it. You really have to take this one in for a little while. There's a lot happening here. A lot of people in here. See the person over here, 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 here. And this one too. Looks like it's the uh, same artist, same style and everything. I wonder what the story with the gigantic American flag is back here. I mean, that is huge. That vase is four feet tall. That thing is incredible. I love the color on it. I love all the detail on it. Look at that. Take a look at this light. That woman is the light. Take a look at that. That's kind of like Lisa Lane Kulik's bling art. That is beautiful. They even did the watch and the Eiffel Tower. Wow, look at this light. This one hanging from the ceiling. That is nice. Very interesting concept. Now look at this glass table and look at the base. The base is very interesting. Mid-century modern. Is that a ruby slipper? Is that what's going on over here? Yep. That's interesting that they would put like an ashtray. Could be a barber chair, but who knows? Yeah, probably more of a barber chair, right? I don't think I'm going to get anything today. Be a little hard to move it all, especially stuff this big, but I love coming in here. All right, I want to thank Sean Presents, Exploring with Punky, Connor Quinn, and MJ for becoming my newest Patreons. I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. Have a great night. Go watch Bring Your Baby. Goodbye.